Hi, this is Afri Nasser from Happy Being Pakistan. Today I am going to share about an overview of dyslexia. In another video of mine, I have shared the problems that are being faced by dyslexic students and some of the tricks and tips through which you can help them learn. So this is the overview of dyslexia in which I am going to share about different forms of dyslexia, what are the characteristics of dyslexia and other things. So let's get started. So there are different types of dyslexia, but there are four major forms of dyslexia in which uh, there is a problem in reading, writing, spelling, or more fine motor and gross motor skills. So these are being split into different types. Number one is dysgraphia, in which a child is, uh, faces difficulty in writing. Next one is dyscalculia, that is difficulty in calculation. Language, difficulty in receptive, that is listening and expressive talking problems. Phonological, difficulty in making the sounds properly. For example, different words, um, a, b, s, k, d. Then visual, reading and writing are the issues as the words seem to be floating when they try to read and write. So they have difficulty in visualizing as well as making sounds from the, those words. Rapid naming, unable to name the letters of numbers in a rapid time manner. Double deficit, that is the combination of phonological and rapid naming that I have mentioned above. And, next, and the last one is surface, in which a child cannot recognize the whole word. So there are the 10 warning signs of dyslexia. Uh, you, can, you can use that warning signs template uh, with your students or with your children to find out uh, if they have any problems associated with dyslexia so um, you can better be able to find out what is the problem with your child and it will prevent you from misdiagnosis in the later stage if you want to um, ex uh, uh, to, show, to know what is the problem with your child so number one is um, the child have problems in read words in the wrong um, that is reading words in the wrong manner or order number two recognizes a word on one page but not on the next page for example if a child recognizes the word cat in one page he or she wouldn't be able to recognize the same word in the page in page number two third one is loses place on the page skips lines or rereads the line number four is inserts or deletes letters in a word when spelling five has difficulty copying words from another paper or the board Number six is misspells many common words like said, there, does, like, etc. Difficulty remembering the entire alphabet. Number eight is difficulty following spoken instructions, multiple instructions. And I have also mentioned it in my previous video. Number nine is write slowly and laboriously. He or she is unable to write in, in a very smooth manner like other children. Number 10 is confuses letters with a similar shape for example b d p so uh, these are the 10 warning signs you must look for if you are uh, finding your child is not uh, getting the uh, words correctly so these are the key characteristics of dyslexia uh, that are directly related to the forms of dyslexia and types of dyslexia uh, so you can read it in the, to find out what are the major characteristics of dyslexia. He or she is, uh, has difficulties in reading accurately and in a speedy manner. Uh, problems noting in, inference in text, inaccurate and inconsistent in spelling. Problems in planning, structuring, editing and proofreading written text. Slow and Ill, uh, illegible, uh, Ill illegible li uh, right handwriting. Mathematics. For example, language, perception, sequencing, organizing, and calculation rate. So is your child having a disorder or a learning difficulty? There are different comorbidities uh, in which uh, there, there are certain problems parents and teachers faces uh, because most of the children, uh, unfortunately, are being misdiagnosed. Uh, there are certain overlaps of symptoms in different um, uh, developmental disorders. For example, you can find... Uh, some symptoms that are present in attention deficit hyper dis uh, hyperactivity disorder as well as, as well as autism spectrum disorder so in order to find out what actually is the problem for a child you must understand the warning signs and symptoms and then uh, you will be able to deal with them in an effective manner 
So these are the three disorders that overlaps and that have similar symptoms. For example, auditory processing disorder, attention deficit disorder, and dyslexia have some common symptoms and they are overlapping in nature. Uh, number second is children with a family history of dyslexia struggle with auditory processing. And number th third is early intervention is crucial. Uh, so there's a myth that uh, children uh, don't show any features of dyslexia uh, up until the age of five years. It's a myth. Uh, there are the signs that a child will show to you um, to, uh, th that is not normal and that is um, uh, important to, for you to understand and to give attention and, and uh, so that you will be able to deal with it in an effective manner. So have you experienced the impact of misdiagnosis? Comment and share your experiences with us in a comment box. Thank you.